Hello world, my name is Isaac Cotto and I have the distinct honor and privilege to serve as the Managing Director of Techstars Seattle and our new Filecoin Techstars Accelerator. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm coming to you from Startup Hall here on the University of Washington campus in the city of Seattle. Startup Hall has been the longtime home of Techstars Seattle and many amazing startup companies have been birthed right here. Now, Seattle, as you probably know, is home to two of the five largest tech companies in the world, but we also have at least 14 private unicorns and a myriad of tech startups. Seattle is truly one of the global centers of technology excellence and innovation. Today marks the end of the 13th running of the Techstars Seattle program. And on behalf of the program staff and the broader Techstars community, I'd like to congratulate our new graduates on completing this very arduous and intense 13-week journey. Our new graduates join an incredible pantheon of success that defines Techstar Seattle. Over the last 10 years, 130 companies have come through this elite program, and they've gone on to achieve amazing things. Collectively, our graduates have raised well over a billion and a half dollars in private capital. They include three unicorns, and notably, as of today, over 75% of them are still in business or have exited. So their success is not only deep, but also broad. I hope that our new graduates will pick up this very bright torch of success and carry it far, far into the future. Now, starting a company during the pandemic is not easy. It takes a tremendous amount of courage. But one thing that I do know is that companies that are born in the time of crisis usually develop an incredible amount of resourcefulness and resiliency. And that is certainly true of the current graduates. They figured out how to do customer discovery, how to build product, and how to sell, often without ever meeting their customers in person, or sometimes even being able to meet their teammates in person. But I know that this adaptability will serve you all very, very well into the future. Notably, this year's cohort was Techstar Seattle's most diverse class of all time. We achieved true gender parity, so 50% of our CEOs are women, but also 83% of our CEOs come from ethnicities and backgrounds that are historically underrepresented within the tech industry. And while we still have a lot of work to do, we're really proud that we're doing our part to bring more diversity into the broader tech industry. And if this year's cohort is any indication, diversity is clearly correlated with success. Now, we couldn't have done this all without all the support that surrounds this program. And I'd like to start by thanking the program team itself, starting with Sarah Studer, our Director of Platform, Erica Lane, our Program Manager, Carson Nye, our Investment Associate, Mac Hopin, our Venture Associate, Marcel Grimaud, our Venture Fellow, and Vincent Vashibe, our Design Associate. Thank you all so much. You make my job so much easier. Of course, no Techstars program is a Techstars program without its mentors. And we want to thank the 230 or so mentors who have worked really hard with our founders over this program and over the many past years. You have been so generous with your time, your wisdom, your experience, and your networks. And you have no idea how impactful you are on our founder's success. But we couldn't have done it without you. And we thank you so much for everything you've done. You truly embody the give for spirit of Techstars. And lastly, we have to thank our family and friends of both the program team and our founders. We know you've made incredible personal sacrifices to allow us all to participate in this incredible experience. And we wanna thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So who knows what the rest of 22 has in store for us? Will it bring us another variant of the coronavirus? I certainly hope not. Will we experience economic boom times? I hope so. I truly, truly don't know, but I do know that the Techstar Seattle fall cohort of 2021 will rise to the occasion and overcome any challenge they face. So once again, I wanna congratulate you all on completing our program and thank you so much for spending time with us. Well done. Without further ado, let's meet the cohort. Huge congratulations to the founders of the 13th cohort of the Techstar Seattle Accelerator. You've put yourself through a lot of trouble to even get to this point, but now that you're graduating, I'm confident you're gonna go out and accomplish amazing things and make an impact on your customers, your employees, and other stakeholders in the world. I think the beautiful thing about working with startups is that these aren't businesses trying to grow modestly year over year. These are people who are trying to go from nothing into a billion dollar company in a very short period of time. 
And the beauty of Techstars is that you get to work with so many different types of companies and so many different industries, but they're all really working towards that same world-changing impact on what they're doing. And I think there is no one particular area that you know our companies are going to change because they're all over the place, but they're all working on scaling into huge enterprises. And I think when things go right, you change your locality, you change the lives of your employees, your customers, your partners. And the fact that I get to do that with 12 companies all at once, working at the ground level is super exciting. I'm beyond proud of the companies that we were able to serve in this year's program. The amount of sacrifice, hard work, and dedication, and passion that they brought through the last few months has been something that is immeasurable. It's something that is inspiring. It is also something that I feel is contagious. And each one of them are trying to create change in the world around us. Doing a startup is a lot harder than I uh, ever thought, but it has been um, really great to have all of the support um, from the program and mentors. I think the biggest epiphany we've had during the, the Techstars program is realizing how important our message is. And, and by digging into who our customer is, we, we found out that we're really not B2B or B2C, but really B4B. We exist to empower local merchants and makers to compete with large retailers and fundamentally change local business. And that's been uh, huge for us and uh, it happened because of Techstars. What epiphanies came up in your time during the program? I think the permission to be wrong and being obsessed with a problem and not the solution made all the difference. I think oftentimes founders can get too attached to the solution and not pay attention to the actual problem. When you actually flip that mentality on its head and focus intensely on the problem, that changes everything in a very positive way. You know, this program will push you in so many ways, but the epiphany that came up for me was the way I manage my time. As a founder, there are so many things you could be working on, but Techstars really helped me stay focused on what is the KPI that I'm trying to move this week. And I think that really helps you as a founder, the rest of your team hone in on where should you be putting time and effort toward. And that is golden when you're in the early stages. Something that has really benefited us from the program is this network expansion, this ability to meet amazing founders and uh, people who have done this and are investing in these businesses. It's something that we wouldn't have been able to get elsewhere and it has been life-changing for us. I would say the greatest benefit of going through the program is the network. Having access to so many um, smart people, mentors who have gone through this, um, getting so much sage advice along the way. And my co-founder and I came in with, with an idea and um, you know, I, at the end of this program, I have some customers and are, are launching our MVP. So to me, the, these three months have been an absolutely amazing journey. How did you benefit from going through the program? There are so many things that come to mind. I would say the most important thing is that my network grew and grew into a very different circle. The ideas and perspectives I get now have truly disrupted the way I think and that has made all the things for me. Personally, and I benefited from being a part of Techstar Seattle by being able to find a community of like minded entrepreneurs and founders that pushed me to uh, achieve more each and every day. They really inspired me and uh, were encouraging at times where it felt a little challenging. So I'm really thankful and grateful for my community of Techstar Seattle founders. <laughs>
My favorite part of the program was the ability to leverage the Techstars network. I mean, you hear about Give First anecdotally and you're like, yeah, that sounds great. But to actually witness it and go through it firsthand was incredible. People were extremely helpful and selfless and their willingness to want to make connections and intros and help you and your company was by far the best part of this program. My favorite part of Techstar Seattle was being exposed to so many great people in the tech startup space and learning from the experiences of previous founders through Founder Story. Uh, I really like being able to hear their experiences and then apply it to um, my business. So my favorite part about Techstars has been by far just the, the group of uh, driven uh, entrepreneurs who are in this program with us that are going through the same thing and that are pushing each other and the, the camaraderie that grows from that. I think that has been by far my favorite and uh, we wouldn't have been able to complete the program and, and be as far as we are uh, without them. What are my favorite parts of participating in Texas Seattle? The people, the, the founders, the, the program team. Entrepreneurship is is a is a lonely world, and uh, especially as a solo founder, having a close knit uh, family of twelve founding uh, teams, where you can share your frustrations, your happiness, your struggles on an everyday basis, was remarkable. Um, I believe we built some long lasting relationships uh, along the way, and look forward to the coming years. My favorite parts about TechStar Seattle, I would say, is the founders, um, both previous um, founders who have been sharing their stories um, and being able to learn from their mistakes, their successes, and kind of give you a, a shortcut in learnings has been fantastic. And um, as well as the current cohort founder group, um, just having them um, along on the journey. It's a hard journey as a founder um, for people who have never done the startup. So having other people who are going through the same thing that you can bounce ideas off of and, you know, share things that other people don't understand with. It's fantastic to, um, and I look forward to continuing to keep those, those friendships um, with, with the other people in this group going forward. One word to describe my uh, Texas journey, um, grueling, um, but uh, totally worth it. And to be fair, I actually entered the program um, eight months pregnant, uh, delivered midway, so it definitely added a lot to my pressure and the stress. Um, but looking back, uh, when, when I entered the program, I really thought I had it all figured out and I was so wrong. During the program, we worked with a lot of mentors. Um, thank you for introducing me some, for some of the best people that I know now. Um, we worked on traction, re honed our pitches, um, worked with a lot of investors uh, doing practice uh, investor meetings. And I, I feel a lot more confident uh, now when I'm about to kickstart my fundraise. Um, all this in just three months. Um, so yeah, was was it was it hard? Um, hell yeah. Uh, but was it worth it? Totally. One word to describe my Techstars experience. Um, I would say roller coaster. So it's moved really fast. Um, the past ten weeks have gone by so fast. There's been highs and lows. Um, we had great moments where the business was looking wonderful and then we had some low moments but all of it has been exciting and being around um, a great group of people who are supportive and a part of the journey with you has really been amazing. I would say focus. There are so many things demanding your attention as a founder of both good and bad. Techstars help you prioritize the one or two things that actually matters at your stage and then helps you optimize the heck out of those things. That was incredible. The one word I'd use to describe my Techstars experience would be limit breaking. It pushed me past my own boundaries and comfort zone. It forced me to think deeper about how I want to measure success. And it really challenged the speed at which me and my team worked at in order to understand whether or not we're on the right path. And that is beyond what I could have ever expected from the program.
Hello, my name is Laura Lettisier, co-founder of Adaptively Education. Adaptively goes beyond tutoring to seamlessly deliver live online teacher-led classes in math, English, and STEM to help first to eighth grade students excel academically. Our story begins with our CEO, Hao Lam, who grew up illiterate in South Vietnam during the war. He spent years attempting to flee the country before finally being able to achieve university education. Knowing education opens doors to the future, he followed that passion and opened a small tutoring center, which scaled to a national franchise with over 60 locations. With our years in supplemental education, we've seen a national shortfall in setting students up for success, a gap that has only widened these last two years. With growing class sizes, schools aren't enough to give students a competitive advantage. Parents are overwhelmed by options and often find themselves having to navigate and learn multiple platforms and systems. And traditional tutoring is reactive and addresses short-term issues. The Adaptively Learning System has live teachers, structured group classes with comprehensive math and English curriculum that has been tried and tested over the last 30 years by tens of thousands of students across the country. Our model delivers personalized courses to accelerate students beyond their grade in school. Our flexible scheduling options and online-based program enable students and teachers to engage anytime and anywhere. Competitors in the market typically fall into two categories, online self-service such as IXL or Khan Academy, or private tutoring such as tutor.com. At Adaptively, our live teacher-led group classes provide students with the accountability and engagement so parents don't need to. Our course is tailored to each student so they aren't bored by unnecessary repetition. Our one-stop LMS is easy for both parents and students to navigate without the need for multiple logins or websites. We are one of the only tutoring companies to individualize the learning experience through scalable small group classes taught by live passionate teachers all on a singular platform. We are seeing great success with our current users on Adaptively, consistently achieving a 90 to 95% monthly retention rate. We are serving over 350 customers on the platform and will accelerate to 3000 by the end of the year. With our scalable classes, we have a profitable business model that yields gross margins between 85 and 88%. Our ideal customer is an ambitious parent who values and is willing to invest long-term in their child's education. They have a traditional view of success and want their children to attend prestigious universities. School alone is not enough to keep their students competitive. We are reaching these families through targeted social media, community engagement, and most importantly, referrals. The three of us as a team have been working together for the past 13 years in this space. At Adaptively, we build minds to unlock futures. Our success means the success of our students. With our passion and experience, we will grow Adaptively to serve over 1 million students across the world. I invite you to join our journey in our business for the future of our next generation. Hi, we are Ecochrome and we automate and simplify reporting for ESG. Ecochrom helps our customers measure their sustainability performance against hundreds of leading standards within days instead of the months that it takes right now. There is a huge surge in companies wanting to report against ESG standards. 95% of the S&P 500 companies are doing some form of ESG reporting since 2020. This is largely because of increasing pressures from customers, investors, regulators, and employees. But only 6% are actually able to provide any kind of assurance or transparency on this process. This creates a significant business risk and a huge opportunity for CEOs and boards. I want to tell you a quick story about one of our customers. Jen is a sustainability officer at a large $2 billion company and has to report against at least five to seven ESG standards every year. She's under a lot of pressure from the board, the CEO, and the company's investors to provide this information. Her customers also want this data and not doing a good job could mean losing business. However, her process is extremely manual and involves chasing after several business leaders and wrangling this data into a giant spreadsheet. Then Jen tries to interpret and respond to each standard with the help of expensive consultants. When she's done, she starts all over again for the next standard, having no time left to drive initiatives that actually improve her company's sustainability. Most mid to large size enterprises follow similar processes that are painful and expensive. On average, these companies are spending thousands of hours on this and hundreds of thousands of dollars in consulting fees. That's what we want to change first. With Ecochrome, this whole process is simple, intuitive, and quick. We automate collecting data by integrating with existing sustainability and business tools. Within minutes, customers can get insights and see gaps. They can then collaborate with other business stakeholders on sustainability projects in one place 
and take actions to actually reduce their impacts. Companies are spending more and more on ESG. Our buyers are chief sustainability officers at mid-sized companies who are growing in influence and are willing to pay at least $20,000 to address their pain. We're already getting pulled into discussions with larger Fortune 500 companies with much higher ACVs in the six and potentially seven figures. This demand is real. We started our go-to-market in January and just a few short weeks, we have product commitments from five beta customers and we have a steadily growing wait list. Our team was made to solve this problem. Amy is a sustainability strategist and a designer who has seen this problem firsthand. I'm a former risk and cybersecurity partner at PwC and have advised Fortune 1000 companies and their boards on compliance matters for 15 years. On top of having the right skills and experience, we have a deep network of sustainability and compliance leaders at our target customers. Simplifying ESG reporting and compliance is just the first step. We are building the future business operating system by integrating financial and ESG data into one platform for the first time. With EcoCrumb, our customers will be able to predict the true impacts of their business and take actions that are profitable and responsible. Drop us a line to learn more. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Shilpi. I am the founder and CEO of Ed11. Our restaurant partners hire three times faster and better. If you have been eating out in restaurants lately, you probably would have noticed signs like these. Pretty much every restaurant right now is short staffed. And while COVID escalated the overall hiring problem in the industry, it has been a burning issue for over a decade. I personally experienced it too. Back in 2018, when I ran my food truck business, I had to rehire seven times for a cook position in just one year. With Ed7, our restaurant partners hire in 10 days or lesser. We have 75 paying restaurant partners benefiting with us from Los Angeles and Seattle. We filled over 200 jobs in 2021. And the one metric that we're absolutely proud of is a repeat rate, where 50% of our customers have come back to hire for a different role or a different location. Our early growth has been exciting. We grew from three restaurants to 75 restaurants, saving them a ton of time. In specifics, we saved our restaurant partners 64% time in hiring and saw a 46% lower no-show rates. Hiring is grueling. It is time-consuming. It is frustrating. We make it extremely simple for our restaurant partners. They only conduct the final on-site interview. We automate and personalize the pre-screening workflow, everything from job posting to phone screen, bringing in magnitudes of efficiency at scale, producing quality candidates. There are about 15 million people who work in this industry. The industry sees a 75% attrition rate. About $2,500 is spent on hiring and training of each employee. You are looking at $25 billion spent each year. The industry needs an overhaul in terms of hiring, and we have the best team to deliver. I personally come with over 12 plus years of experience in the tech industry working at Amazon. I also come with over five plus years of experience in the food industry. Our team comes with over three decades of experience in the hospitality sector. So what are we up to next? We're gonna dominate Los Angeles and Seattle and launch our products beyond that into five more regions. But here is what I want to leave you with. Hiring is just the beginning. There's a lot that goes in retaining an employee. We are starting with hiring, which in itself is a multi-billion dollar business. But our roadmap extends way beyond that. If you want to be part of the company that will revolutionize hiring in the restaurant industry, let's have a chat. You can reach me at chirpy at edison.com. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kira Kindelin and I am co-founder and CEO of Foreverly. I have spent three years as a hospice volunteer offering comfort to people as they tend to their loved ones in their final days. And I gotta tell you, so many people struggle with death. And so I decided to do something about it. There are nearly 3 million people who die in the US each year and roughly 20 million are left behind to grieve. And that's what contributes to the $21 billion end of life industry. And since as a society, we have such a difficult time facing our mortality, so many people are left unprepared to handle the aftermath. 
And that's because dealing with the death of a loved one is a lot. From the funeral to dealing with the VA, social security, taxes, probate, this leaves grievers in a state of shock and they are unable to articulate and communicate their needs to those around them. And so my team built a solution, the Foreverly Registry. It aggregates resources, goods, and services to help grievers manage life while coping with grief. We have had so many people say, I did not need 17 casseroles. And so we provide access to things like home cleaning services, food delivery, and more. And to relieve financial burden, Grievers can crowdfund for things like funeral expenses, which on average cost people $9,000. You know, death is a taboo topic. So we created a grief support page and garnered 3,000 followers in less than six months. Some of those folks in turn have become our foreverly ambassadors who are on the streets getting registries created. But the key to take us beyond first base is hospice. We have early indicators that hospice has strong channel fit and have verbal commitments from providers to engage their social workers to create registries for families after their loved one passes. There is no company owning this space yet. On the one hand, you have companies over indexing on emotional content. On the other, they're missing the mark by providing checklists. Foreverly balances both. We provide access to emotional support in a structured way. And it's just the beginning. We're starting with the registry because at the onset of a death, managing the emotional outpour is the first response after someone dies, but grieving has no end. By learning what people need after a loved one dies, we unlock power and trust from our users to deliver upon phases two and three. Personalized experiences around the dissolution of an estate and offering grief support. In the event that an untimely death occurs, Foreverly will be the company you turn to to help you pick up the pieces. And here's the team that's gonna make it happen. I have my MBA and at Microsoft, I owned inbound and outbound marketing for a new set of features. Robert is a passionate engineer and has over 10 years of experience. Join us as we transform what it means to grieve. Thank you. Hi, we're Rexby, formerly known as Lifeshot. Even though the travel industry is gigantic, it has not kept up with how younger generations plan trips today. But about 76% of millennials have moved to Instagram, who they now with the help of local content creators get inspired on where to go next and what to do at the destination. And when we dig deeper into this trend by talking to travelers and creators, we found out that a creator gets hundreds of travel planning requests from his followers each month, but he currently has no sufficient way to service them effectively. So that's where we come in. We are building a platform where creators can sell travel advice to their followers in an easy, scalable, and profitable way. Our big ambitious view was to do to the travel agency market what Airbnb did to the hotel market. There's going to be a multi-billion dollar business in this space, but since it's only very recently possible to create this business thanks to sufficient technical infrastructure and tourism and the rise of the creator economy, this space is ours to take. Our creators love the platform since we open up a new income stream for them. An average influencer can make up to $15,000 in annual passive income, and the ones that work actively as a travel advisor or are large enough can earn a lot, lot more. We take 25% on all revenue generated on our platform through travel plans and bookings. Travelers also love it, since now they get access to their favorite creator and their high-quality local travel information. A traveler we went recently through our platform spent eight hours inside the app in a, in a seven-day stay in Iceland and gave us the perfect NPS score. Even though we think big, we will start focused. We are building an initial and stable network in the Nordics, where some of the most popular Instagram destinations in the world are right now, before expanding to other markets. We currently have a 100% conversion rate with creators after 50 sales meetings. To gain traction from travelers, the beautiful thing is that we will solely be focusing on servicing current demand from our creators' following base, making our cost to acquire travelers close to zero. Me and Inquar worked together at KPMG, where he managed the group dedicated toward tourism in Iceland and I towards startups. And alongside my work, I also helped to run my family's travel agency. Ole, a childhood friend of Inquart, has been building extraordinary products. But he was one of the five key players in building the Sotheby's online auction platform. And before that, he was working at one of Iceland's biggest startups. 
This transformation is happening. Travelers are already buying travel advice from creators. We are just harnessing this trend by building a tool that makes it easier, scalable, and more profitable. And creators are eating it up. So if you're interested in knowing more, please contact one of the founders and we will set up a meeting. Thank you. At Proxy, we are building the future of personal navigation. We envision a world where people have rich, local, and trusted recommendations at their fingertips. And we're doing that by first bringing geospatial mapping to everyone. And we have the perfect group to bring this vision to reality. My name is Melinda, and I'm a former US intelligence analyst and geospatial tool builder. I'm also a PhD candidate with expertise in social media and human-centered design. My co-founder and longtime friend Chelsea is a multi-time founder with prior exits. Our impressive team and advisors are all passionate about making it easier for people to navigate the world. So how do you know where to go in your city or on travel? Well, today you read lots of lists on trusted local news sites, on your favorite influencers Instagram page, or even recommendations that your friends have texted you. And these text-based recommendations and lists are fine, but we know that people move through the world and make decisions spatially. For you to convert on one of those recommendations, it must be both trusted and in proximity to you. So why aren't those lists represented geospatially today? Well, making maps is really hard, something that I've learned both in my professional life and felt deeply when I made a viral Seattle holiday map. After the map was featured on Good Morning America, others started asking how they could easily set up maps for their events, communities, and businesses. So Chelsea and I looked into it. What we found is that the existing mapping software out there is difficult to use for everyday people. There is a gulf between Google My Maps, an inflexible but free solution, and mapping APIs like Mapbox, which require coding knowledge to master. Proxy is the interactive solution that is first to fill this need. Our product is live, and in just five minutes, people can generate a map, add points, customize it, share it, and embed it. People love us because our user experience is inspired by other creator-friendly tools like Canva. And map creation on Proxy has been increasing 100% month over month since September. And the product is growing itself. Over 90% of people who make maps on Proxy have seen one in the wild and come to Proxy to make their own. And what gets me out of bed in the morning is the even bigger opportunity to reimagine the way that people move through the world. Soon, Proxy grows beyond a map-making tool to be the go-to place to find mapped, local, and trusted recommendations. And choosing where to go and what to do will be easier than ever with Proxy. This unlocks revenue streams around advertising, affiliate linking, bookings, and more. And we'd love to have you join us on our quest to bring geospatial to everyone and power the future of personal navigation. Hi. My name is Edwin Ortiz, founder and CEO at Rejoicy. Rejoicy empowers local merchants with the easiest e-commerce platform in the world. Business owners and makers like Amanda here often start their business based on their passion, but soon grow frustrated after trying to sell online. With the overwhelming number of options, add-ons, and endless settings, they give up. And they are not alone. 74% of independent businesses in the U.S. do not have an e-commerce website today. And after interviewing over 200 of them, we know why. It's still too hard. Until now. With Rejoicey, business owners like Amanda can create an online storefront in just 60 seconds, get creative on their offerings, and fulfill through shipping, delivery, or pickup. All of this directly from their phone. Rejoicey is the only mobile-first e-commerce suite designed for the overlooked market of makers, bakers, movers, and shakers. Let me show you. Businesses can create a shop even through text messaging by answering a few simple questions and get a link to their very own site. They can manage items, inventory, orders, and fulfillment all in one place. And they can start selling from their beautiful, professional, great site in less than 10 minutes. I know what you're thinking. What about Shopify, Squarespace, Wix? But it takes about two weeks to get a shop up and running. Here's the story our customers keep telling us about the other website builders. They try them. They spend late nights and weekends trying to create their site. Most of them get frustrated and quit. And those that power through realize that even after creating their site, they still had to go add plugins for some of the core features 
like tipping. By ignoring usability, our competition is also ignoring this massive portion of the market. In the US alone, there are around 16.4 million customers like those. At the $35 a month we charge today, this is worth over $6.8 billion. And we're growing over 30% month over month and are doing it at a seven to one LTV to CAC. Our customers love how easy your software is and we have a net promoter score of 83. We have an amazing team. Prior to Rejoicey, Luke and I worked out a startup together where we served SMBs exactly like the ones we serve today. I have over 10 years of experience in e-commerce, supply chain and retail where I worked in eight different countries and managed a $4.3 billion Walmart portfolio. And Luke has been developing since he was 16 and has created products that millions of people use every year. We will empower the independent businesses to compete with the large retailers and fundamentally change local commerce for everyone. We hope you will join us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alex, the CEO of Referred. Our solution gives businesses the ability to record their customers from anywhere and provide simple tools to automatically create video testimonials, case studies, and references that generate revenue. Every department in your company needs customer time. Marketing needs customer insights to convert leads. Sales needs customer references to close deals. And success needs to understand customer best practices to expand existing opportunities. The best way to scalably capture and deliver customer time is through video. But videos are hard to produce. Companies will try to create videos themselves, but they lack the bandwidth and the skill sets to deliver what's needed in a timely manner. So they spend 10, 20, or even 40K to hire a middle of the road agency that delivers something that's overpriced and that no one really trusts. Our customers love us because we help them collect videos that close deals 27% faster and converts 31% more leads without wasting time, resources, or budget. We're growing fast. We sell through inexpensive outbound sales that keep our customer acquisition costs under $200, while we have an estimated LTV of over 30K. We're capitalizing on a strong K factor too. Our current customers are bringing us new leads at almost a one-to-one -one rate. There's no winner in this market yet, and we're well positioned to take that mantle because our solution is built to collect videos at scale while making material impact at organizational KPIs. We're aggregating data from across our customer base to help our customers collect the right videos at the right time and recommend when to deliver it in order to drive results. We started with strong product market fit as we sold to sales leaders because we built exactly what they needed in order to generate more revenue faster. After we enter through sales, other functional groups pull us onto their teams because our solution makes it easy to capture impactful videos share them and connect their customers with the world better than anyone else. This is a massive $70 billion global opportunity that continues to grow as buyers consume online video more than any other content as they make purchase decisions. Today, we're selling into the 15,000 B2B SaaS companies here in the US. Next, we're going to expand our approach to any domestic B2B org. Then we'll be well positioned to own the global B2B market. Max and I met at a startup where we needed a solution like Referred because we didn't have the time or expertise to do it ourselves, let alone the budget for videos. Max is an amazing full stack developer and three time technical founder. So when we were laid off due to the pandemic, he just started building. I've been the top sales rep everywhere I've worked. I've closed high volume inbound sales. I've sold multi-million dollar enterprise opportunities and I've set up partnerships that generate tens of millions. We know what we're doing and we get it done. Join us as we take over the customer video market as fast as humanly possible. Hi, I'm Al, like Algorithm, the co-founder and CEO of Seas. We are Uber for photography. Cultural expectations for online personal photography has changed. 83% of Gen Zers share photos on social media because they believe their social profile is their social currency. Similarly, great photos are important for dating sites. Match.com says the quality of your profile photo is the number one factor for being successful on their platform. Unfortunately, to get great photos, you have to hire a professional photographer that costs hundreds of dollars per hour. However, there's an untapped market opportunity with smartphone cameras. In the last several years, we've seen a dramatic shift in people owning smartphones as a primary camera and has paved the way for a new demographic of amateur photographers who have a lower barrier to entry by just using the device in their pocket. 
And that's where Seize comes in. Seize, a platform that conveniently connects people to smartphone photographers to provide affordable quality photo shoots. The key to unlock this opportunity is Seize the app, our go-to-market product where you can request a photographer just like you request an Uber. After being matched with a photographer, your photo shoot is an in-app experience. Customers love that in real time, they can view the photos and give the photographer feedback. We have booked over 100 photo shoots across four soft launches with an average order value of $14. Our photographer community has grown organically to over 100 photographers, with each of them referring at least one other photographer to the platform without any incentive. Additionally, we have a strategic partnership with a DIY photo studio franchise, Selfie World, with 25 locations across the country. Our first beachhead market is Gen Z adults and young millennials needs for their social media. There are 750 million Instagram users who fall into this demographic. Assuming they booked two photo shoots of an average order value of $14 per year, that's a $21 billion market opportunity. The global market of photography services is $36 billion, which sees will completely disrupt and expand because how we view photography is changing. Imagine a photographer being wherever we need. This is how we'll have office holiday parties, college graduations, everything will be documented beautifully. A new era is coming. Seas is the future. My co-founder Dana and I met while working together at Zillow in 2019. After hacking on ideas together, we decided that Seize is our billion dollar business. We are two female technical co-founders who have a technical chops and the grit to take Seize to the moon. Dana is a unicorn individual as she's a software engineer and has been a photographer for several years. Together, we're on a mission to provide everyone with great photos and videos from a device that's already in their pocket. The future of photography is changing. The reason the names Kodak and Nikon are iconic is because they're about capturing precious moments. Kodak, Nikon, Seas. Seas is a part of a legacy of household names that's about capturing our lives for prosperity, giving us an iconic billion dollar business for the 21st century. Thank you. Four years ago, I prepared to have a baby as a black woman. I'd survived giving birth, but little did I know the real challenge would be the moment that I walked out of the hospital. In the first six months of my daughter's life, I went to the emergency room 21 times. The physical pain I experienced and the anxiety that I was battling manifested in a number of symptoms. I had chronic migraines, gastrointestinal issues, and constant panic attacks. I went to general practitioners, neurologists, and endocrinologists who all said the same thing. It was just postpartum. I often left the doctor's office more frustrated than when I had gotten there. As a black woman, I felt like I was invisible and I was screaming at the top of my lungs and no one could hear me. I was failing at cultural expectations of suffering silently and I felt so alone, but I wasn't alone. I was one of the 70% of mothers who have mood disorders during their postpartum period. I founded She Matters to close the health gap and address the $32 billion spent on maternal morbidity every year by entering the market with the largest segment. The $18.1 billion spent in maternal mental health care alone. In December, we started small, 25 women and 10 therapists. Those 25 women would receive culturally competent therapy. 100% of those moms reported feeling safe during those sessions, and 100% of moms wanted to continue therapy. Off of that validation, we launched a sign up for 100 mothers. We hoped we would get 50. What happened was amazing. One Instagram post was shared over 20,000 times, and 6,000 mothers signed up for culturally competent therapy. Our culturally competent certification allows our therapists and postpartum professionals to communicate with Black mothers from a place of empathy and awareness, which builds trust in communication. We integrate our network of therapists trained in postpartum and cultural competency into hospitals' outpatient maternal health care services. We align the incentives of providers, payers, and patients showing higher telehealth engagement 
lowers hospital readmission rates, and curbs overall healthcare utilization. We deliver world-class in-network mental health care services to Black moms and make good on our promises to accompany them from the moment they leave the hospital with community, culturally competent therapists, and culturally competent resources. I know what you're thinking. Why us, right? We have an amazing team of advisors, healthcare experts, and mental health care professionals ready to help us scale. Marge and I understand the pain point because we lived it and created this platform with Black women in mind. Black women are not confused about who She Matters is for, and that is intentional. Help us bring this shield to every hospital, medical center, and doctor's office in America to make sure she knows she's safe and to make sure she knows she matters. My name is Jade Kearney and I am the CEO of She Matters. And we are closing the health gap by providing culturally competent health care to black mamas. Food delivery is broken and we're going to fix it. My name is MJ and I'm the founder and CEO of Ziplunch. The existing food delivery models are failing. As big as they are and as rapidly as they're growing, they're damaging the restaurants in a number of ways. They're bombarding them with many single orders at their busiest times, featuring overwhelming menus. This makes it so hard for a restaurant to run a delivery business while serving dining customers. And it's also expensive, ending up with little to no margins. Because of this, up to 50% of restaurants are leaving Uber Eats and other delivery apps at times when both sides of the market are relying on delivery much more than ever, and they need a better solution. So we created an efficient solution that generates demand in the form of batch orders and pre-orders during restaurants idle times so they can deliver the best of their menus at lower prices to our busy customers. With our model, restaurants make 75% more delicious food in 30% in less time, resulting in much higher profits. We're keeping our restaurant partners busy, giving them high volumes of new business. Because of our service, most of our restaurants have hit their full capacity and we're adding more restaurants to our network at a rate of 7% week over week. Our delivery model is working. We've achieved product market fit. In fact, 85% of our users are returning users and 15% order more than 15 times a month. And our super users order, order more than 50 times a month. And we have around 2000, 2000 users and a growing waiting list of 10,000 more as we start to open up new neighborhoods. We're the perfect team for this because we're pairing the restaurant experience that my high school buddy Maj brings with my deep operational expertise that comes from running a major factory business for 15 years. Furthermore, the team has a ton of success in the tech business and a passion for food. We're making a fundamental change in our restaurant partner lives and we're going to reinvent and completely disrupt the already massive and rapidly growing food delivery space. If you'd like to learn more about how we also solve our customer problems, or you'd like to join us in our exciting journey, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. Hi everyone, congratulations on finishing the program. It's been a pleasure working with such innovative minds and amazing people. I look forward to seeing what you have to create within the future and also look forward to seeing you as well. Do take care and stay awesome. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Studer, the Director of Platform for Techstars Seattle. And I would just like to congratulate the 13th class of the Techstars Seattle Accelerator Program. This has been an incredible journey. We kicked everything off starting on November 8th where you all came to Startup Hall met each other for the first time and we embarked on an incredible journey together. It has been so much fun and we are so proud of you all. If you have been inspired by what you've heard today, I encourage you to stay in touch with our founders. If you need contact information, please feel free to reach out to the program team or I encourage you to join us at our virtual celebration immediately following this video premiere over on Remo. Please also keep an eye on your inbox for an invitation to our series of events happening in June, which will include workshops, panels, opportunities to meet with more founders from the Techstars ecosystem, and an enormous community celebration. We have missed you all. We can't wait to be back in person. We'll see you soon.
Thank you so much.